G'day legends, I hope you're all fantastic. It is always nice starting the weekend with some new firmware and some new toys on the Axe FX3. Firmware 23.04 is out. It adds a whole bunch of new amp models in here, which I want to check out. You heard some of them in the intro. There's the 5153 Stealth. There are the low inputs for the Brit 800 2203 and 2204 and a few extra treats in there. So before we get started, PRS DGT, straight into the input of the Axe FX3. I'm in drop D. That little intro track that you heard in there, I was using the new low input for the Brit 800 2203 boosted up with the Pi Fuzz. Uh, you know, no prizes for guessing what kind of band I was going for there with that tone. But let's just hear the Brit 800 2203 high at the stock settings and compare it to the low input on there. They're pretty different. Uh, I mean, this particular sound on here, the stock settings with the Brit 800, I really like the sound of, you know, if you don't like the sound of a JCM 800, do you even like the sound of guitar? <laughs> the high mode is super fun on there, but the low mode, uh, what I found is cranking the master all the way up and then adjusting the gain to taste gets you a really great rock crunch on there. The way I would think about it is the high mode is the Angus Young channel and the low mode is the Malcolm Young channel on here. But if we take the gain on this low mode to around five, master all the way up and then we chuck on, not the precision drive, we'll get to that, but I had the Pi Fuzz at these settings, so level just below noon, sustain cranked up. It sounds pretty awesome. It was double tracked on that intro that you heard on there and layered with another set of doubles from the 5150, but I'll just let you hear that in isolation. <laughs> Thank you. 
One little tweak that I did make in the, in the drive block was I went to the advanced tab of the PyFuzz and I changed the clip type to op amp over here. So you can try that out. It's a pretty classic combination. It sounds so nasty, but when you double track it and put it in a mix like that, you just create this massive wall of sound that is super satisfying to play around with. Uh, let's check out the stealth models next on here. So I'll bypass this amp block and we'll come over here. So there's a 5153 100 watt stealth blue, red, and green channels. I'll just let you hear the difference between the blue and the red channel on here. Uh, I've just kind of dialed them into where I like them for a kind of super chunky modern tone again in drop D. So we will hear the blue first and then I'll just switch over to the red at the same setting. <laughs> Damn, do they sound good and they are mega satisfying to play. I find those a lot easier to dial in than just the standard 5150 models on there. And as we heard in the intro, they layer and record really well. So they're gonna go on my regular rotation of big, fat, chunky things. There is a model of the green channel of the Boogie Mark V in here as well, which is pretty interesting. So you can see the fat switch is here on the tone page. What I'm gonna do is let you hear it with a stock greenback cab, but I'm gonna switch over to an EV impulse that I made on here, which really suits it in my opinion. So we'll go neck, Single coil, just got it dialed in here to where I like it. I'll let you hear it with a fat switch on or off, and then we'll swap over to those EVs. <laughs>
sweet tones to be had in there. It's easy to remember that those Mark series amps have great clean sounds and low gain tones, as well as being able to do the giant Chungus thing. Speaking of which, they have renamed the Mark IV models in here to reflect that they're actually a boogie Mark IV model in here. So previously it was USA lead mid gain. Now it's USA Mark IV lead mid gain and USA Mark IV lead. So a little easier to find the Mark IV models in there, which I absolutely love. And of course, I'm going to give you a quick blast with this one at my preferred setting. <laughs> Stumps right there, so much fun stuff to check out in here. And again, we're just looking at a few of the new apps that were added to this already extensive ecosystem in here. Again, one thing that I love about all of this is that it not only gives you accurate representations of classic amplifiers and things that we expect when we play those classic amplifiers, like the way the volume control cleans up on your guitar, but the routing options, all the effects in there, and so many other fun tools can let you really craft your own tones in this ecosystem. You can basically have your cake and eat it. It's an amazing thing. Go and grab the firmware, play some guitar this weekend, and I'll play you all out with the Plexi 100W 1970. Take it easy. Oh, 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 oh,